All right, guys, Christian and Moochers, I'm doing a recap of the potluck from Friday. Uh, we matched a clan called New Wars Order. Um, <clears throat> none of us had heard of them before. Not too many people actually had. They were uh, only a level 3 clan, but they were new. Uh, it was a potluck match. Um, they just couldn't get things going. They ended up kind of quitting uh, towards the end of the war. They didn't even use an 11, I think. Um, and then they just kind of all left. <laughs> so, um, you know, good game uh, to them over there. If they see this, you know, good luck with your new clans and whatnot. Uh, so, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this. Uh, I'm going to start on 25. We've got 5x. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just run some Lalo here. Um, he's actually going to come in from over here at 3 and do a hero swap. Gets a CC. Drops his poi down. He makes just enough dent in this base just to kind of set up his Lalo pathing. So everything's going to just funnel straight around the base. Comes in on the Tesla farm. You're going to see uh, more in the future with when you're running Lalo, uh, you want to start heavy on your loons anymore. Um, it's almost like you're spamming, you know, it just, it doesn't feel right, but surgical just isn't the way to do it anymore. So, you know, this is a nice three star. I can't figure out anything that he did wrong with it. So, I mean, you see how many loons he has left? He's got a hound still up, plenty of, you know, pups going around. So that was a solid hit. <laughs> uh, next, I'll jump up to. Let's skip that one. 20, 23 here. It's Kronos on Kronos, so. Um, anyway, so. I'm going to drop in the, uh, the Golem from 9, and I'm just going to let it tank. Honestly, there there isn't much need for two Golems, so um, I just figured that I may as well just let it do its job. He's going to come in, he's going to pop, you know, he's going to just get wrecked, but that Queen's just taking her time getting into the Dragon. i still got one of the Golem lights up. Dropped in my other goal. <clears throat> Set the whiz down low over here at six, trying to get that funnel. Um, again, Queen's taking her time. But the kill squad itself gets enough push uh, without her following straight in that, like, I almost thought that she wasn't going to funnel in. And then these bowlers actually kick out. So I can't even imagine what this raid would have looked like if those three bowlers stayed inside. But, I mean, regardless, uh, this base got wrecked. Drop in some loons. Tesla farm. It's kind of like a pre-swag on the heel, because I knew I wasn't going to need it. But, I'm not cocky enough pre-swag, so... And then the last haste. And the pathing was just there. There's no troll Teslas on this base. It's just so compact all down in the corner here. It just, it didn't matter. That's why I'm going to clean up troops. Alright, so that was my hit. Uh, it's a fun little 9v9. Um, I think this is what I had for JWK. Right. He's actually going to drop his jump on that air defense right there. This is actually a fun raid to watch because you don't see a whole lot of guys trying to come in on corners anymore. Um, that jump is like probably the most perfect spot where you could lay a jump 
and get a decent push with a small kill squad. So, as you can tell, that's what he planned on. He comes in, hits his ability, and the queen kind of gets snagged up, but uh, she would already done her work, so it's just going to let her die. And I mean, the loon padding again, you know, you go a little heavy and then sprinkle in a couple around just to keep them in the core. And again, you know, he probably didn't even need that heal. And then you can tell he's got cleanup troops, so he's going to drop in a loon from right there. And that's going to do it on this base. Pretty straightforward Lalo there. This is the hit for Weiwei. This one was a lot of fun. Um, when I was actually watching him uh, when he first started this, I was picturing it in my head exactly how I would hit it was exactly the same way. So it was kind of neat because, um, you know, it was some of the things threw me off a little bit initially. Um, but overall, I mean, the, you'll see there's a heal spell that he laid down that was just perfect. This is a fresh hit. There, you know, there wasn't a, a scout or anything leading up to this, so he, um, he took a, a gamble on a couple of things, but, you know, just knowing how to dissect the base when you scout it is the ultimate, you know, trait. That's what we look for in people. Um, you know, that's one skill that you definitely need to work on if you don't have it. So there's going to be a giant bomb by each of these mortars, and he's already pre-healed it. So his bowler is basically take the hit, and then they'll recharge. So, I mean, that was... It was perfect. There's no way that you could do that any better unless you want to just avoid it, which you're not going to do that either. <clears throat> and then it's basically just spam hog in, let them do their work. And I'll drop that heal on when I come across. And I'll heal them right through that wizard tower, and the rest of it's clean up. She had already laid down and had to run it around the base, so it was a great hit by Sizzle on this one. Nice to see the old guy getting back into his Town Hall 9 game a little bit. Alright, I'm going to jump to JWK again. Uh, I showed his first hit. Um, basically the same thing on this one, but he actually swags his... Uh, his heal spell, I think. So, this one was a lot of fun to watch. Um, I don't know, it's just fun. So, he's going to drop in his jump. You know, hero swap is just the last thing that you want to give up as a Town Hall 9 builder. You don't want to make that clean accessible. And he makes a big enough dent in this base. The Wiz Tower farm just rip. It's gone. And then the rest of it's just, you know, haste, haste, haste. You know, just gets through it. Crushes his base. You know, those, those hounds tank for him just enough <clears throat> to get through everything. And like I said, there's all those troops that he has left. He's going to drop up top here. Um, but. He's got a heal spell left, and he didn't even need to use it. So that was a really solid hit uh, by J JWK on this one. He's fresh off a break, so it's nice seeing him getting back into the mix as well. And it's so nice. I wanted to watch it twice, but I'll spare you guys. I'll come back and watch it a little later. All right, let's see. Yeah, throw Herb into the mix. So he's just doing the, the go-ho here. Uh, this is the cleanup hit. As you can tell, he knew where that Tesla was right there. Um, solid cleanup, though. <laughs> Regardless, you know, whether whether you know where the traps and stuff are or not, you know, you still need to execute and 
get the cleanup done. So it's going to drop in a couple minions outside over here. As you can tell, they're going to take out that bomb. Uh, the tower, I should say. But it's going to trigger that bomb, so he doesn't have to worry about any troops or anything getting through that at the end of the raid. So, um, you know, anytime that that's successful like that, that's just rip. The bases, this style in general, um, they were kind of short-lived. I never really understood why people had such a hard time dealing with those. But, I mean, as soon as they basically came onto the market, there were tons of videos that were being thrown in there just to kind of show you how to defeat those. So, um, regardless, back to Herb's raid here. I mean, this kill squad is lit. It just comes through, clears out the whole top portion of this base, gets to the core, and it's going to get the compartment over here at like 7 o'clock. So, his queen pops out. Honestly, I think it helped. <laughs> There's nothing that he could do wrong on this one. So, he's... uh. He's got his hogs over here on the expo, and he's got essentially three cannons left to deal with, and a ton of hogs, and a heal. Which, was a heal even necessary? Not really. <laughs> but, at the end of the day, uh, we're not cocky enough to swag our spells all the time, so. Credit, solid cleanup by... Uh, herb on this one. And that's going to be it. That's root for that base. Let's move on to the next. Uh, we're going to jump up here to 18. Uh, this is a fresh one by Eagle. Alright, so he's going to start down here. Yeah. So that Tesla pops up, draws his golem inside. So it looked like he was going to try and uh, enter, you know, in here right around 7. But he had to switch it up a little bit. So he threw, you know, his kill squad in right on top of that uh, wizard tower right there. So Pekka Loon CC. Uh, it's one that's good for defending queen walks. But not everyone's running a queen walk these days, so... He's got some cleanup hogs that are going to come in here on the back side and make his life a lot easier. But as you can tell, he's got a golem left that's trapped with just a wizard tower that's going to be tanking. So, um, nice heal. It's going to make it so he just has these last two defenses. And then, let's swag the boy. So, again, that was a nice solid hit. Didn't go all the way according to plan, but he made his adjustments, you know, mid-raid. And, again, that's another skill that's nice to have. So, good job for Eagle on that one, bud. And I'm going to jump up to 12. It's Smelly Reefer. Yeah. All right, so he's running the queen walk. Pops in his BK and he's he fine, but a Tesla farm. So um, giant bomb drops the loon, try and take out a Tesla. You know, uh, gets the CC triggered out to him, but it's not the whole CC if I'm not mistaken. If he had a his if that Tesla farm wasn't there, that Barb King would have actually came around and cleared out all of this junk. And his Archer Queen would have stepped up and actually taken this jump that he's about to lay down, but he stuck to the plan. Um he couldn't really do much else. Drops down a minion, I think, or two, but it was a little late. Um so she's actually gonna run away from the jump. Even though that Clan Castle is that close. She'd much rather come around out here and shoot at that. So, um, again, nothing you can do to that other than embrace it. So, drops in uh, his hounds here, spams some loons, and he's actually going to get the queen killed because she stopped right on top of that expo. So, 
thank God for small miracles, but regardless, it was a, a fun plan. It would have been nice to see if you know what it looked like if it actually you know had a chance with the uh, the test of harm being elsewhere, but still can't say anything about it. He's got so many cleanup troops. There's one troll Tesla out here. He's going to drop a loon on it. Boom. Takes it out. And then he's got other cleanup troops up top here. I mean, he, he definitely set himself up, you know, to succeed. So even though the plan didn't go all the way correctly, it didn't matter. It still got the three, and that's the important part. So uh, swag ability on top of it. So nice recovery for Reefer. Solid plan. Good raid. We to get the three. And this is a fresh hit by Justice Piggy. <clears throat> so, pretty much your standard Go Bolo. Uh, he's got a nice wide funnel he's going to bring in here. Wizards are just going to do work out here on the storages, get them out of the way. He's going to break in, drops his jump. And he shades the jump a little bit so they don't go completely astray from where he wants them to go. Gets the poil on the CC. Takes out the queen. Drops in his Lalo. And again, with these wizard towers being on the outsides, I mean, you, you got to have a, a you know defense someplace in front of them to keep that from happening. I mean, he burned all of his spells a little early, um, so he didn't have any that actually, you know, exactly speed things up right here. So he gets a little close, but there's so many balloons left that, you know, the air defense is just overwhelmed. There's nothing that it can do. And he's got a, his cleanup minions down here working on the town hall and such, so that queen is going to wind up breaking out, coming right around. And, I mean, that's it. That base is ripped. So that was a great job by Justice P. I don't think I'll ever get used to that name. <laughs> so, uh, Town Hall 11 game was on point. We went 4 for 4 on dips. Um, we ran 2, 7, and then the rest were 9. So, um, they, they just, the other guys fell on a couple of dips. They couldn't get it quite going. Um. And they didn't clear our nine, so that's there's a big impact when you can't clear your bases. So this is a fresh hit for two by Whelan. Um, free percentage against Town Hall 11. You're not going to find it uh, very often, but if you find it, you better damn well take it. So um, <clears throat> he was able to get what five percent with just a few minions. So you know that's pretty solid. And then the rest are just bowlers. I mean. Rage. He's going to rage on both uh, both sides here, and he's going to create that pocket. Um, and I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself from there. He's going to drop in his heroes. He's got another another column. Yep. Just a jump. He's got an earthquake for the town hall. And he gets the eagle with it. He's got a heal. He's got the point on the CC. So basically, uh, you know, that CC draws in the Archer Queen. So she's going to come in with the rest of the kill squad. And she's going to just hammer away on defenses with them. So 49%. Um, and the ability gets him up to 53, I think. And like I said, it was you know a fresh hit. That was a nice, solid two star. Um, it's a new strat uh, for a couple of guys that they've been working with, so it's nice to see it work. Um, Wheelan did basically the about the same thing on number one, um, and he had a solid four pack. You know, it's it's nice for one guy to take down two eleven. So um, overall, these guys were. Uh, you know, decent nines. Uh, coming out of the gate, they hit pretty hard and pretty fast. But, 
it seemed like they kind of stalled out on a couple, and I feel like the the game plan we had set just kind of pushed us past them. So, um, great job to our guys. You know, can't knock anything uh, that went down on our side. Uh, it was nice to pull out a big win uh, in the potluck, and we've been enjoying the, the bye week. So, from CWL. Um, we have a family scrim we're doing tonight. I'm hosting a Town Hall 9 tournament tonight. We've got a couple of fun activities going on um, before we get focused on CWL for this week. So just enjoying our time. But once we get back into it, we'll be posting recaps of those as well. So uh, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, like and subscribe uh, for future posts by me or you know, anybody else that wants to do any videos for us. And I'll see you next time.